Hey everyone, it's James here from GoodGuitarist.com and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play A Change Is Gonna Come by Sam Cooke. This tune is just chords and strumming. The shapes are pretty simple. The strumming pattern is in 3-4 time. So if you don't know any songs in 3-4 time, this is a great one for that. Um, if along the way you find you need any extra help, I have my free ebook which goes over all the basics of chords and strumming. I have my complete beginner's course which does that but you know much more thoroughly and then I have the chord chart for this available on my patreon if you need any help following along with the tune otherwise let's just jump right in and get started with the chord shapes first we have a G chord then there's a minor and for G to a minor there's really no trick to it, so you have to practice that one over and over consistently, you know, just using the same fingering for each one over and over. I recommend starting off on G, going like this, getting your first finger down and then these two fingers. So just work on that at your own pace. From A minor, we go to E minor. And we're also going to need the C chord going into a B7 chord. So I would practice that switch as well. I like to get these two fingers down first and that makes it a little bit simpler to get the shape. So work on that a little bit. And that's all we need to play the chorus. There's still a couple shapes, but we'll learn them later when we need them. Let's practice downstrokes only, counting our way through our chorus chord progression. Starting off on G, we're just gonna Keep it nice and simple, downstrokes only, and count along. One, two, three, one, two, three. 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 One, two, three. Here we go to A minor. One. If you need more help with that, there's the chord chart on my Patreon, which has it all laid out in a really obvious way. Anyways, now that we have the chord shapes for the first section, let's take a look at our strumming pattern. It goes like this. I'll do it a little bit slower. One, two, three. Let's break it down. First, I'm on a G chord here. We're gonna play root, which is just the thicker strings of that chord shape. You know, just aim roughly for the thicker strings. You could also think of it like a little downstroke. So one, and then we go down, up, down. So let's just practice that going one, two, three, one, down, up, down, one, two, three, one, down, up, down. One, two, three, one, down, up, down. And the second half, we're just doing a downstroke on beat one and a downstroke on beat three. So it's a lot simpler. We're just going one, two, three, two, three. So I recommend just taking a look at the whole thing, seeing how it lines up with the counting and going through it really slowly. Just going one, two, and three, one, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. Try it over each of the shapes. You know, do it a whole bunch of times at your own pace. And when you're ready, we can add that to our progression. The one part where it's gonna be a bit tricky is 
when we go from C to B7. We do the first half of it on C. We go root, down, up, down, and then we switch to B7 and we go one, two, three. You know, so the first half of the pattern with C, second half of the pattern with B7. You might want to try that a few times right now yourself. And when you're ready, we're going to play it together nice and slow. One, two, three. Couple more times. Root down, up, down, down, down. One, two, and three. One, two. Going to A minor. So that's the majority of the tune. You know, we play that verse three times, then we do the bridge, and then we play that verse one more time. So all we have to do is learn that bridge, which is a little bit simpler, actually. We're gonna need a couple new chord shapes for it. There's A7. And that's just like an A chord, except without the middle note. I like to play it with my ring finger on the second fret of the B string, my middle finger on the second fret of the D string. And then we have a D7. And when you're transitioning from A7, all you have to do is take both those fingers, move them down that way, one string. So now they're on the highest string and then the G string. And then you just plug the hole with your first finger. It's just like B7, but on the edge of the fretboard. And since the chord changes are pretty slow, pretty repetitive, let's just try this with the strumming pattern right away. You can always just watch this and then, you know, see what's going on and then try it with me afterwards. Here we go, starting on A minor. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so that's everything it takes to play through this tune. But before we finish up, I wanna play through the verse and the bridge together so you can get used to transitioning between them. And I also wanna do it a little bit faster. You know, when we, with the original recording, it's gonna be quite a bit faster than our practice speed here, but I wanna do something kinda of between slow and fast, you know, just to help you build up to the original recording's speed or tempo. We're gonna start off with our verse on a G chord one, two, three, one, two, three.
bridge. So that's how you play Change Is Gonna Come by Sam Cooke. If you need any extra help with the chords or the strumming, please check out my free ebook or my complete beginner's course. I'm also working on a strumming course that'll help with, you know, time signatures like this and with a bit more advanced, intermediate and advanced strumming. There's also that chord chart on my Patreon if you need help following along with the order of everything. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.